probably the most unique element of the class is that there's a component that's one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we're together for an hour. I'm listening critically in the best possible sense. There's constant feedback and interchange of ideas between the teacher and student. So I never, for example, just lecture, not that most teachers would, but for an hour solid. They're constantly singing, I'm analyzing, I'm asking them to think about what they've done, describe it, I model to them, they model back, then we try to analyze back end into how they're creating it. So I think that's a key difference, that constant back and forth interaction and the focus and attention it requires both of the teacher and the student. It's really nice in that studio sense that we get to be one-on-one -on -one with him at least once a week and uh, we get to practice with him at all those occasions. Well, we get a whole hour every week of one-on-one -on -one time with our teacher in our lesson, so that's really amazing. Um, and we get to talk back and forth a lot with our professor. We often talk about like how things feel and what's working, so there's a little bit more, I guess, the student is a bit more involved in how it's structured. You're never quite sure what the student's going to bring in because so much of it's dependent on their emotional state, um, their workload, all of, all of that that comes into it, the physical well-being of the voice. So you could plan for this is what I hope to accomplish during this hour with this student this week, and then they come in and it's just totally different. Well, and he can sort of uh, assess each person as they come in and try to give them that best personalized attention. And so that curriculum, like you said, yes, it does really develop uh, based on where we are in our own vocal development over the course of however many years. Singing is so, so individual because everyone feels it kind of differently. It's not like you can just go from a textbook and say, this is, this is how it is, this is what you have to learn. It's more exploratory and you have to figure out what is right for you. And so he takes the time to figure out how you function and how he can communicate with you best so that you learn better. And that, I think that's pretty special. So you build up an incredible rapport, student, teacher, mentor, guide, whatever you want to call it. So you become very close. There's a, a fine line the teacher, I think, needs to walk because you're very close to the student and dealing with, you know, the apparatus that is so uh, closely connected to their feelings, emotions. Um, and yet you have to bear in mind you are their teacher and guide. And so that's an incredible responsibility and trust that they place in you and you need to be judicious with how you deal with that. But it is incredibly rewarding to see them grow as, as academics, as singers, performers, students, people, and watch that development. And then, you know, they take flight and go on to the next great, wonderful thing. And, you know, that's extremely rewarding to watch.